Good day, science-minded learners! Welcome to a new day of fun, exciting, learning with me, Teacher Anne, your science chum! Have your pen, paper, and module because for today, we will learn about Mendel's Laws of Inheritance. But before that, let us have a review first on what we have discussed last meeting. Hmm. Who can still remember on what we have discussed last meeting? Come on, let's find out! Identify what is S in each number. 1. What do you call a long tail structure that usually is seen in a sperm cell? Flagellum This is a human reproductive part, a sack of skin that contains the testicles. Scrotum. 3. This is a sex hormone produced by the follicles on the ovaries of the female. Estrogen It is a sex hormone that promotes the functional maturation of the spermatozoa. Testosterone. What do you call a channel for oxide transport and fertilization? Fallopian tube. Great job, class! You really mastered the lesson that we have tackled last meeting. Let us have a game! The title of this game is What's the Word? So I want you all to group yourself into five groups. Mechanics of the game. Each group will be given a board in a chalk. Formulate the word based on the pictures given. You are given 30 seconds in each item. The group who will get the correct answer will have one point. The group who will have the highest points will be the winner. Are you all ready to play? Hmm, I know you are. Let's start! What's the word? The answer is phenotype. Number 2, can you guess the correct word? It's genotype. 3. What's the word? Heterozygous. 4. Hmm, what's the word? Dominant. 5. What's the word? Monohybrid. Did you have fun with your game? I know you did. Thank you class for your active participation. Last meeting, I assigned you to bring your family picture. And now, I want each of you to come here in front and share to us the dominant traits that are found in you and where did it came from. Who will go first? Excellent class! You did well with your activity. So I want you to give everyone an ahoo clap. One, two, three, one, two, three, ahoo, ahoo! Are you all ready to learn our new lesson for today? Yes, I'm sure you are. Because of that, I want you to say, Yes, we are ready. Once again, Yes, we are ready. Let us all go to the world of genetics. Come on! Can you still recall who is the father of genetics? Who do you think so? Great! As regard Mendel. Using garden peas or pisum sativum, Mendel showed that factors of inheritance are transferred from parents to offsprings. In modern genetics, these factors of inheritance are called what? Great class! It is the genes. According to Mendel, there exists a pair of genetic materials in every organism that segregate during gamete formation. So what do you call this? pair of genetic material class. Amazing! It is the phenotype and the genotype. Great job! This genetic material genotype, which is responsible for the observable characteristics phenotype of the resulting individual when gamut fused during fertilization. In one of the monohybrid cross performed by Mendel, he showed that when a pure breed of the round seeded garden pea plant was crossed with another pure breed of wrinkled seeded pea plant, a heterozygous round pea plant will be generated. 
Another example of monohybrid cross is when a heterozygous round pea plant was crossed with the same phenotype, a 3 is to 1 ratio of round seeded and wrinkled seeded plants were identified. Now class, what diagram can a monohybrid cross be expressed? Excellent! It is the Punnett square. When preparing a Punnett square, all the gamete types reduced by the male parent are lined up vertically on top of the quadrants, whereas the gamete types reduced by the female parent are lined up on the left side of the quadrants or vice versa. Bear in mind, class, that in genetics, the dominant allele masks the expression of the recessive allele. Now, class, I want you all to get a paper and a pen and try to answer this. Well then, class, you have answered all the questions in each number. Now, class, I want you all to get a one of short ways paper and answer the short test. A white mouse whose parents are both white produces only brown offspring when mated with a brown mouse. The white mouse is most probably A. Homozygous recessive if two heterozygous individuals are crossed, what percent of their offspring are also expected to be heterozygous? B. 50 In watermelons, solid green rind color is dominant to stripes. A farmer crosses two watermelon plants that are heterozygous for rind color. What are the odds that the offspring will have a solid green rind? C. 3 over 4 in cats, the allele for short hair is dominant to the allele for long hair. Heterozygous short hair cut is crossed with a long hair cut. What percentage of the offspring is expected to be heterozygous for hair length? B. 50% In rabbits, black fear is dominant to brown fear. Consider the following cross between two rabbits. Show the cross between the two alleles and identify the following. So how do you find our discussion for today's science-minded learners? Is it easy? Yes! I know it is easy for you, for you have actively participated in our discussion for today. I think this ends our lesson for today, class. Once again, I am Teacher Anne, leaving you a message that never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Bye!